Hello everyone, this is David R. Vallejo, artist, illustrator, and creative extraordinaire, and I'm doing this video live today, and so any mistakes uh, that happen are uh, immortalized, I guess. Anyway, so I just want to do a really quick video, uh, and uh, this is about my sketchbook, and uh, I did some traveling. Uh, my wife and I, we celebrated our 25th anniversary, 25th and a half because we got married in January, but uh, it's kind of a hard time to travel. So we went to uh, Canada and also came back on Seattle. And uh, anyway, so I thought uh, it would be fun to, to have a sketchbook during our trip. And so uh, I talked about uh, having a sketchbook or keeping a sketchbook uh in one of my videos and uh, I talked about the reasons for having a sketchbook and so the reason for this sketchbook here is basically drawing from life or what I like to call uh, drawing on location okay and so uh, anyway so that's what I did and uh, so the purposes of this sketchbook is to draw on location to document uh, my travels and and just the different sites that we uh, saw and uh, my my aim or my goal was to draw uh, about three or four sketches a day, uh, and we had a six day vacation, so that would be uh, quite a few sketches. Uh, I kind of fell short of that goal, actually quite a bit short of that goal. And so here's what actually happened: is I uh, created uh, maybe uh, let's see one or two sketches. Uh, a day. Actually, I should say I, I average about two sketches a day. I create about 12 sketches all together. And uh, anyway, that uh, goal just didn't happen. And I think I found that that drawing uh, and spending time on drawing uh, takes away from family time, which is really what traveling is all about. And, and I guess if I had to do it again, as far as keep a sketchbook while traveling, is uh, just make that time to travel uh, a time dedicated to, to drawing. Uh, anyway, so starting off, here's uh, the first sketch. This is uh, my my bag. I got my bags packed, and uh, we found these uh, packing cubes that uh, just bring everything really tight inside your bag. So this allowed us to travel with a carry-on without any uh, other luggage, any bigger luggage. and. For six days, this is six days being packed in. I also had a little bit of space in here in case I wanted to fit any uh, souvenirs or anything like that. So this was this was great, and these packing cubes are great. Anyway, so this is at home. This is on the airplane. Our first airplane was really cramped. I put a little note right there below here: cramped flight from Sac to Seattle. And uh, it was very cramped. That was our, I think, almost our smallest plane uh, as far as space inside goes. A little light rendering here. I lightly rendered a lot of the pictures just to kind of bring out some of the forms and tones. Uh, my plan was also to draw from life, as I said. But I found that some, in some cases it was just easier to, to snap a picture with my phone and then go back to our room or, or in a coffee shop and, and kind of work out the sketches uh, after the fact. So that's what this is all about here. And I'm trying some different approaches with, with framing the picture. And I'm not sure if I quite like this, but uh, anyway, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, and this is the uh, the wharf area. And they had a bunch of sea taxis and, and just the, the wharf is a real small area. This is in Victoria, Canada. Uh, it's a real small area, but it's a really nice area, too. And we had some really good pizza. This is at our bed and breakfast where we stayed. We stayed there three nights. Excellent food, excellent uh, hospitality, and just a beautiful grounds. And, uh, of course, I took pictures. This is from a photograph as well from my phone. And I just kind of like the scene, the little archway. And just all around all around the house was, was just really beautiful. Here's uh, sitting on our balcony of our bed and breakfast. Uh, the ho house across the way, someone walking. There are always people walking or running or biking or walking their dogs. It's a very active place. Kind of is inspiring to get maybe a little more active on my part. 
but there were huge houses all around the neighborhood. We're talking million dollar homes here and, and just an amazing area. So still Victoria, Canada. And of course, Starbucks. <laughs> we actually drank a lot of Starbucks. We didn't, uh, for some reason, I don't know, that's just what is there. It's what's all around. And we didn't venture too much as far as trying to too many different things as far as coffee goes. We kind of stuck with what we knew. Uh, here's another picture from the wharf. Kind of walking down into the wharf area. I thought it was a pretty cool area. These uh, houses right here, these are floating houses that uh, they rent out to, to visitors. And uh, some of them I think people uh, just live in too. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Another shot of our bed and breakfast. Just outside here. Plants all over. Really nice. Here's another Starbucks. This is in Seattle. Seattle was nice, but it was kind of a downgrade from uh, from Victoria. But it was still fun. It was cold. <laughs> and of course, when you go to Seattle, you got to see the Space Needle. We actually didn't visit it. Uh, because uh, it's kind of pricey to, to visit it and do the whole ride up and down. And we just, both my wife and I thought that, you know, we don't really want to throw, throw away our money like that. It's just, you know, that's a lot of money. So uh, we decided to take a snapshot. It lasts longer, right? Yeah. Uh, this one, this one is from life right here. Uh, I can't remember if I was looking out a window or what. Or was this? Oh, no. I, Yeah. Yeah. This was from life, I think. Um, it's kind of interesting. I can't tell if it's from life or from a photo. That's that's kind of a good thing. Anyway, the public market area of uh, downtown Seattle. And then finally, at uh, the airport, the Seattle airport, as we're waiting to go home and we're ready. And this this lady right here, she didn't speak any English. And so my wife helped her out to kind of get squared away to where she was going. Anyway, we had a lot of waiting time. We found that if we got to the airport early, like really early, that allowed us to get there without any stress, <laughs> extra stress, because the longer you wait in Seattle, uh, as far as rush hour goes, once rush hour hits, it takes a long time to get from point A to point B. So we left about five or a little bit after five in the morning and that allowed us to get to where we wanted to go in plenty of time. So that's it. Not too many sketches. I was a little bit disappointed with that. But the upside is I have all these other pages that I can fill. And uh, that's it. So if you're an artist and you travel, uh, how do you do art when you travel? Do you do art when you travel? Or do you just not do it and just spend time with family? Or do you combine it? What do you do? All right, so that's my my video for the day. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you later.